Hi, Yanis. I hope things are going well with you and that the problems in Europe are not causing you too much stress or concern or worry. Um, I fear our dear President Putin's got a lot more trouble to cause before things are over. I wanted to take part in your giveaway partly to support you because I'm very grateful for the content that the content that you put out and although I haven't always responded recently I have been watching you um, at the moment where several things are sort of happening and where our house is falling down and we're having to find a new place to live and that's been quite stressful but it seems to be sorting out now so I hope we've got a place nearer Tim and Rebecca my children and near Pamela's sister. I think I've virtually finished this by but I thought it would be difficult for me to choose a maker of tobacco, a, a blender because my favourite blend probably is nightcap and, and blends like that but I didn't want to choose Peterson's because it's got such a broad range um, and it, it's mainly the, the, the Dunhills that I liked but I'm not choosing a Dunhill blend um, make I'm choosing Hue Tobacco which is German tobacco and to be honest, I haven't had a really bad smoke out of anything that I've tried from them. Just the thing I particularly like is that they have a full range of blends. So they have everything from Dock Worker, which is a flake um, and one of the cheaper tobaccos that they do but still very, very good. They have what's at the moment my favourite blend when it gets a, a little bit of age on it, and that's Olaf's English blend, English favourite rather. And they did stop doing this, and then they've suddenly started doing it again. And I don't know whether that's because of the number of sort of people who contact them and no, don't stop. But again, a very, very nice English blend um, with pre really good premium tobacco in. Some of the other ones I've got, I've got this range, which comes in these cardboard containers. Um, this one's Zulu. And to give you, uh, these will give you an idea of the breadth of range that they do. I've only chosen three of them out of my cellar. But this one's got Latakia, and then Black Virginia, Burley, Orient, and fried, dark fried, fired Kentucky. And they put them in different sizes to give you an idea of the um, amounts, proportions. Um, this one's Asmara, and that has... Orient, Forward, Perique, Virginia, and that's Kia. And the final example is Balkan Passion. They have several Balkan blends. Um, and this one's, as you would expect, Virginia, Orient and Latakia. There's also um, Port Latakia, which is a very nice blend as well. And as I say, I haven't had one bad tin out, out of all of them that I've bought. And there's still a lot for me to try. And I thought, 
It was an ideal blend to go with, apart from them being top quality and reasonable prices. But they also have just such this breadth of variety in them. So if I got sick of one tobacco, I certainly wouldn't get fed up with all of them. And they would have um, ones that I could switch to and, and enjoy just as much. I tend to be one of those people who gets a favourite blend and then, you know, my first response is, that's it, that's the blend to last me a lifetime. Certainly, Nightcap is still a favourite. And it's one of the earlier blends that I got and said that I, I really enjoyed it. You may remember, I think I responded to a video that you'd done a few years back. But Hue Tobaccos... And not just huge tobaccos, but some of the other German tobaccos. I just can't fault. Um, it really surprised me, and I suppose it shouldn't have done. But we tend, I've, I've always tended to think that the best tobaccos are, are, are maybe American or, um, you know, <coughs> Lakeland or Esoterica blends, that kind of thing. But certainly the best with quality and quantity of blends has to be the German firms, especially you, tobacco. And the blender, I don't know who it is, but if his blending is spot on. So if you haven't tried you tobacco, I'm sure you have, because you're, to me, the sort of tobacco stuff. I was going to say expert, but I don't mean that. I, I, I think you are an expert in tobaccos. But your love of different blends and collecting and different spirits um, is an inspiration. And I've started to change the way I sell her. I've started selling deep now. Because I'm aware I'm 72 years old. So running after different blends, as I did when I was a new smoker, isn't, isn't always the best thing to do. So I've got my favourites, and, and occasionally I will add a new one to those. But I want to ensure that I've got my favourite blends when things get difficult, if they get difficult. You know, because I think there is a move to stop smoking totally. Um, and certainly there'll be a move to stop us buying tobacco from other countries. It's difficult enough as it is. So I'm um, making sure that I've got some to last. Um, and as I say, I'm 72, so if, if I die tomorrow, Tim will get all my um, cellar anyway and all my pipes um, so it's not a waste of, not entirely a waste of money um, I'm going to stop there because I've got a zoom meeting starting soon and I just wanted to do a video to you do a re response to your gore um, mainly to support you but in the distant hope that I might win because there's some tobaccos there that I never never got to try um, but that's a minor reason for going in so God bless you and I hope things are going well with you and I hope that the troubles we're in in our world will not get too much worse <coughs>